What's up disc golf fans, Derek with Gatekeeper Media here. We got a little bit of a new piece of content for you today that we're trying out. We're calling it the Gatekeeper Media Ironman Scratch Match and uh, I'm gonna go over the rules a little bit for you. Uh, we are turning every hole here into a par three, hence the Ironman in the title. Uh, the point system is as follows. You got ace worth 10 points, birdie worth three points, par worth a point, bogey gets you nothing. If you get two bogeys in a row, your score resets to zero. If there's a tie on the end of the front nine, that $250 prize money gets pushed back into the back nine and it turns into a winner take all. If it gets pushed at hole 18, we're going into sudden death playoff. So let's jump right in. First up, we have Ricky Wysocki and Kevin Jones. Good luck, Rick. Yeah, good luck, dude. <laughs> ah! That looks like a... Hey, no hyzer slip on that one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I followed you. <laughs> Squeak! Oh, man. Squeak! I followed you over. Except I didn't hit anything. I got a putt. Dude, I'm not restarting because no. he's way more likely to park it than me. <laughs> just all right, y'all. <laughs> See you guys. Look, Kevin, mine went through that tree all the way up there. I don't know how. Sneaky. You did or me? I'm mine. I think I did too somehow. Good. Throw-in contest. I'm about to get a point, though. Yeah. A par <laughs> is a point? Yeah. Well, I don't want no par. I want a throw-in. Yeah. How many points is a birdie? Three? Yeah. Oh, you so didn't the, go through two. Nice. It seems like the par threes are super important. Yeah, they do. So, not ideal to shank him. And you're always in it, because if you ace. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. You get a ton of points. Yep. I like it. I like Short. it. Short. Oh. Ah! Wow, I liked it too. Oh, I don't like it. I had the height, I just didn't have it. Yeah. Always working on stuff. What are you working on? Just a couple things with my timing and reach back and stuff. Small things. Yeah. I don't know anything about my reach back. Yeah, this is coffee today. Oh. But normally green tea, I'm switching it up today. A little coffee, Kev made me some coffee. Cute of him. <laughs> it, is a, it is a prototype of my special roast, yes. Yeah. Testing it out, it seems like it's not very strong, which is probably pretty good. Yeah. Sauce. Like I can drink it black right now, so that's good. And then I've got another try, uh, brand to try out as well. Both are Nicaraguan organic blends. Yes, sir. Test Dumbo. Did you go high gap? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that's got to be the play. I know. You get farther left that way. Nice. Only thing, I'm, reason I like the down low gap is you can get further because you're not going so high. Really? You know? Yeah, you can penetrate more. Where if you're high, you're not penetrating. I like being left side of the fairway. Yeah. I think that's why I more than I distance do that. wise. Yeah. Oh, that's too straight. Get left. Hurry. Oh, get down. All right. Crucial tree. That'll work. You can bomb a flex from there. Yeah, but like, yeah. See, I don't even mind. If that just rides the edge and just goes straight, I'm fine with that. Just because I get so much distance, it's shorter. Can you flick it from there? Yeah, you can, you can do everything you want. Turn over T-Bird. 
high side arm. That's what you're doing mostly? You can throw a hyzer even. Like, yeah, that is a big shot though. The hyzer, yeah, but, if dude. You're, but if you're far enough to the right, like if you just ride the line, like yeah. I just almost did. And I can reach yeah. it from where I'm at even right now. So it's, not that that's the shot I'm going for. I'm trying to go left, but. This is a weird shot. Right between a T-bird and a destroyer. You're going T-bird from there? Well, I know, I just have to throw it harder. <laughs> yeah, like really hard. Yeah. I'm just throwing it to 30 short and then making the putt. Okay, all right. Ricky all right. golf. Why sucky golf? <laughs> oh my shank. Four Ouch. left. That's gonna be OB. Maybe. I heard thick stuff. Oh my gosh, that was so bad. Oh, I liked it. Golly, I actually enjoyed it. Dang, dude. Yeah, a little flexor? Yeah, it's probably not stable enough. I'll throw it. Ooh. <laughs> Getting a good throw in practice. Aggressive. Oh, I love it. I love it. Nice, dude. Good one. Oh. Double bogey? How many points is that negative? <laughs> you better not bogey the next one. Oh. Wait, yeah, it, doesn't, it doesn't even matter, actually, if you do. Yeah, you have well, no points to lose. Yeah, it's true. What kind of uh, advice did Chris offer you? Uh, none yet, but I none mean, nice. I'm definitely gonna have him nice help. Shot. That's awesome, I can fit a hyzer in here. Yeah. Is that a fairway? Yeah. Nice. So that's what I wanna be able to do, this like, yeah. rope thing. Me up. Oh my gosh, can't putt right now. <laughs> nice one. All right, digging myself a hole. I am uh, trying, I'm shoveling. I at least I didn't lose, go back to zero. Oh yeah, yeah. Is, he, is no this problem. his first tournament? This is yeah. First time he's, he's filmed disc golf. Nice. Sick. Sick. What's his background? Woodworking. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> That's Hell yeah. funny. <laughs> There's got to be some sort of crossover. <laughs> That's funny. Play in the woods. Or yeah, yeah, something? woods. <laughs> he's around trees. He cuts trees in wood. He, <laughs> Kevin hits trees on drives. <laughs> <laughs> Not on this one. Oh, oh, what? Hey. Maybe I was right. Oh. <laughs> I wonder Sorry. if I can birdie from That was there. my fault. I told, talked him into it. Yeah, talking during my swing. I, I, I really care about that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, I didn't oh, Lord, thing. have mercy. <laughs> no, give some love straight into the middle of that tree. I yeah, didn't see it. Sure it was. Down. I think you're throwing probably the... I'd say second farthest in the game right now. Yeah. I don't, you probably wouldn't say it, but. Yeah. It's, it's for sure. You throw farther than Eagle. I don't know about that. Dude. You do. <laughs> Did. <Whoa>. Did. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this is a weird one. Yeah. Can I get, oh, I got this. You can still reach it. All right, is he ready for it? Coming around the right side. With a tail. 
Wow, that was a smush. Needs wind, needs help, needs help, needs really? help. Really? Ain't gonna hit a tree. Did you hit something? I don't know. I think so. See That's it? great. Nice shot. Thank you. Might be deep. Nah. Left to right. Big left to right elevated basket. This has got to go up there. How the height? Mm. Whoo! I put it as high as I can feel comfortable putting what? it. No. What's up, dude? Three. I think I'm on the. Oh, it was a par zero, right? Par zero. Par zero. Or one? Or well, one. yeah, you got yeah zero, and I got a. No, par's one. Okay, so I got a point. So I'm on the board. Yep. <laughs> no, I'm not laying up on camera. Come on, dude. <laughs> no I was way. Say, dude, we gotta. <laughs> Watch you go for it and then I just lay up and you go over here. Yeah, that would suck. You're up first though, punk. Aw, oh, dang it. I can't pull that one on you then. No. <laughs> Try to get an extra quick Dude, point. <laughs> I don't know if I can get it there right now. Yeah, you can't. I'd say lay up. <laughs> Gosh, dog. See, I look at headwinds as like, it, I can get further because it holds straighter. Oh, for me, that's the way I look at a headwind. You're throwing straight though. Yeah. I have to go high. Really? You know, way. you can do the Heiser flip will nah. carry you straight. Yeah. It's all about the mindset when you throw in a headwind. If you're like, oh, dang it, I gotta throw into a headwind. But if you're like, yeah, I can attack the headwind. It yeah. holds my, for me, it holds my just straight because I'm a natural, like, I hyzer at the end. So, yeah. it, like, it holds straight for longer. I don't know, it's just me. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind it. I just mind it for my line because yeah. I, I wanna throw a hyzer here, not down the middle. But I'll probably this hole is like, if you, hit the, if you hit it perfect, it goes deep for me at least. Yeah, down the middle for sure. Yeah, because it's just like, it's more just about hitting the line. Yeah. Oh, that's not it. That's not gonna hold straight. <laughs> it might uh, be past it. No way. It could get greasy, I guess. All safe. Right. <laughs> what? Yeah. That was the shankiest Gosh, safe shot ever. Dog it. <laughs> oh, that was such a shank too. Oh gosh, that was a shank as well. Okay. Oh, perfect hyzer from there. Yeah. I'm you know, if you go with bogey, bogey, you get reset. Oh, I did get a bogey. Uh -huh. I told oh, you after no. the shot, you know? Smart. <laughs> okay, I maybe like the Heiser. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about the par three. Well, today, yeah. We should go spike. That looks great. Sit. Wow, nice shot. I like it. Good. Avoid the bogey bogey at all costs, gatekeeper. Yeah. No bogey bogey. Ah. Oh, dang it. <laughs> oh, talk about a reset. Practice your putt. Reset me. That was better. <laughs> That's all right, though. I can fix that. Okay. No swing for me. Nope. At least not in my favor. Yeah, you're right. Could be against your favor, but. No, you got it. Thanks. Yep. Need your confidence. I was just shot. helping, dude. That's why I'm here. I 
There you go. Nice. I got Heck one more yeah. for it. You going again? Yeah. Alright, Kev, looks like you're pretty much burnt on this back nine. Front nine? Front nine. I wouldn't go that far, actually. You can get an ace. You can get an ace. <laughs> you got work to do to close me out on the front, boy. Yeah, I know. I'm just dicking. Whoops, grab that. Yep. Thanks. It's a brand new one. Nice. Why did that rise? <laughs> Uh, that was crazy. Butts are doing weird things. Rise in the tailwind? Yeah. This is my plan. This hole is to never pick a side left or right and just throw right into the tree. So I'm going to not do that this year. So what are you going to do? The left side? I'm just going to throw it. <laughs> <laughs> if I hit the tree, I still have a shot. Horrible lesson from Ricky Wysocki. Yeah, it sure is. But I'm not. I'm going to go left. I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> He's just kidding, everybody. See, that's perfect. That is a Picture perfect shot from Ricky well, it just Wysocki. Looks, I want to go farther. It just doesn't look that far. <laughs> You're going to throw a pig in I from know. there and it's not going to matter. I know. <laughs> there you go. That is perf. Oh, it's got to get You're left. fine. There it is. Even if you touch it, you're still fine. You still want to be behind it. Even if you hit it and go like under it. You still yeah. can do it. Left side, not the right side though. No. Because the limbs are lower on the right. That Iron Man par snuck up on me, man. I was not ready for that. Real quick. I love Iron Man, man. I've been playing I know, it makes it fun. for my whole disc golf life. That's how you play all your courses? Yeah. Yeah, me too. But it's we didn't like have that many par school. fours. It's the old school way to do it. It is. Because old school golf used to, I mean, if, if there were par fours, they there was were tweeners. Only a couple. They yeah. were tweeners. And you, yeah, you could potentially two them. See? I know. Throw. Uh, I don't know why I give you advice, but. You do, and I appreciate it. Yeah. Because I pay attention. I absorb it. You're like a sponge. Yep. SpongeBob. I'll throw the pig just like you advised off the tee. And I'll. You ever considered hiring a caddy? Going for Kev. <laughs> oh. Dang it. Hiring a caddy? Mm. A3? Sorry, you're not my caddy. <laughs> Oh, maybe I should have. Yeah, I told you. Eight, it would have maybe I should have. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's great. Mm. Oh, that's such a such a big miss. <laughs> it doesn't matter, though. <sighs> Good putt. Thank you. I got that for you. That's 30 or 40 left. It's really good, actually, is unless it? you roll. Wow. That's still left, isn't it? No. <laughs> there you go. Nice shot. That's more That's left really good. than yours. What? That's more left than yours. What? No way. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's funny. My spike, your spike. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. Chain out! Chain in! <laughs> boinky, boink. Yeah, these are my go-tos. I'm trying to dial these really hard. Jeez, oh, geez, yeah. dude. It's like what you have, though, that purple it one. It is, but these are stock. I know. They're, they're like, yeah, the new Gosh, halos. Dog it, bro. I think I'm just going to go with the backhand and then throw the hyzer on the second. Just because 
I don't know. You, I don't know. Just for me, I don't know. You, the sidearm's the play, really. I'll show you my play. Hopefully, it's the. It is the right play. Nice. Thanks. That's good. Yeah. That's not my play. No. No. Nope. You're right behind the tree. Dead. Uh, I'm going to go high over that tree, probably land short of the basket. Grenade. Left, right to left. Are they clear? All right, I'm going high. I don't know. Easy four. But yeah. It's just hard to get distance when you're that close to that tree, I'm sure. Uh, not really. No. I like that a lot. It's about as good as that line can be played. Yeah. Yeah. Drop. Get in. Hmm. Just not enough distance on the shot. T shot. Oh, okay, so I'm up there. That's not bad. Good putt. Thank you. I haven't seen you make four in a row yet. I know, I always go three for four. <laughs> I don't know why. Front nine's done with, looks like I beat Kev 12 to six. Starting the back nine though. Back nine snack time, right? Yeah, hopefully for me. No full scoop today. I'm going for the full scoop, let's go. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy the back nine. Cringe.